we are with the Jackson Jensen. Jake's been the dogs. We decided to hire a boat for the afternoon. Hello, hello, hello. Have you turned off that water? <laughs> Jake has made another amazing dish, which is mm, the banana, really nice. Good morning everyone, we have woken up in Byron Bay and unfortunately the weather is not amazing like Byron Bay weather usually is. Just had our breakfast and some coffee because I'll be damned if I go out for breakfast again in Byron Bay, it is so expensive. Two years ago when we did the same van trip, we went out for breakfast and coffee was $9.50. So we had our coffee here. <laughs> I am just about to wash up the dishes. It's not really weather for swimming or surfing. Jake went for a surf this morning. We'll probably go for a walk, come back here, and I'll just edit a little bit, do some work. The good thing about this holiday park that we're staying in, Caravan Park, is that we can keep our van set up so we can set up, we don't have to set up and then pack up every day. We can walk into town from here. It's like a 20 minute walk into town. So we're gonna do that every day instead of having to pack up and drive in, try to find a park. So. It's pretty good, pretty good location. <coughs> this is our pan from when we tried to make bread and we just couldn't be bothered to wash it up today. So now it's all stuck to the bottom. Though. This chicken just came from underneath the car. <laughs> it's a turkey. There's a chicken right there. Oh I feel like when you're camping, you just kind of have to accept that nothing is ever really clean. It never feels clean. Jake, you want to dry up? I'm going to attempt to show you how I get ready in the van. First off, I have this nifty toiletries bag. This is my skincare and that is my makeup. And in this little zipper, we have all of my hair bands. Because you guys know I'm obsessed with hair bands. Might wear this one today. Yeah, that's cute. We have the Pixie Clarity Mist. I don't really know what it does, but um, I like the way it feels. And I put on this every day when we're traveling. The La Roche Posay SPF 50 sunscreen. Even though it's still like really shady out today in Byron, it's still very important to keep sun safe when it's cloudy though, because Australian summers is no joke. I used to really not want to put sunscreen on my face because it broke me out and, and it felt greasy, but this one, I know it's more expensive, but it's so worth it. I don't get breakout. Next we have tea tree toner from The Body Shop. I just kind of like pat it into my face. Then we have a vitamin C serum. This one is the Garnier one. This is supposed to like bring back color to your face, I think. Brightening serum. Then I have this mini drunk elephant vitamin C cream to put underneath my eyes. My under eyes have actually been pretty good on this trip. I don't know why, because we've been waking up at the crack of dawn. Crack of dawn being like six o'clock, but I'm just not used to that. But Jake thinks it's because we're going to bed early and waking up early and we're eating well. To be honest, when we're in the van, that's the healthiest I always am because Jake's cooking for me all the time. Whereas if I'm at home, half the time I can't be bothered to cook for myself, so I just have something like lazy that's like a snack. Next, I have this wild deodorant stick. It's the refillable ones. If you guys saw my PR unboxing, my TikTok, you would have seen it. It's so cute. It has my name on it. Look, look at that. They sent me three, so I gave one to Jake, but it has my name on it, which is really funny. He can never escape me. Last I put on is my moisturizer. This one is the Nivea one. I love Nivea products. They never break me out and they always do well on my skin. I usually use the CeraVe moisturizer. I'm obsessed with it, but because it comes in such a big tub, it's not really great for van life. And this one's just a little bit lighter. I don't think I need a thick moisturizer just because it's so hot. I end up like sweating it off by the end of the day. And then I got my lashes done before we came because that's something that makes me feel really confident when I am not going to be wearing makeup for a couple weeks, I usually get my lashes done because if I will wear anything, it will be mascara. Now, if I was to put anything on, it would probably be this Summer Fridays skin tint, but I'm yet to really test this out yet. So the only thing I might do today is fill in my brow. The only thing I couldn't bring on this trip is my Dyson Air Wrap, and I use it every day for my fringe. I'm using the viewfinder as a mirror. I'm so sorry. Staring into yourself. I use it every day to like fill out my fringe, but we couldn't bring it. In terms of hair products, 
products. I didn't bring much because like they're pretty bulky, but I have the frizz spray for Jake mainly because his hair is so curly. It just goes so frizzy. So this like smooths it. It's a hydrating leave-in conditioner. I would also usually use a leave-in oil, but I didn't bring them because they're pretty hard to transport. I usually just spray this in the ends of my hair and kind of like rub it in. Hopefully it'll keep my hair not knotty. I do have a bit of a natural curl. My mom's hair is really curly and I got a bit of it, but not as much. So I have to really work for it. As you can see, my fringe dries pretty quickly in comparison to my all my other hair. All my other hair? <laughs> my fringe dries pretty quickly in comparison to my, yeah, other hair. How do I put that in comparison to my hair? I don't know. In comparison to the rest of my hair. Oh my God, how did I not figure that out? I also have this comb that's like a non-comb. I actually stole it from my sister and it's very good, but I don't really know if I want to use it because I want to keep my hair curly. And if I brush it out, my curls leave. That's the thing about my hair. It's so in between curly and straight that if I brush it, it just go, kind of goes fluffy. Like it's not straight, but it's not curly. So I usually tend to not brush it. And then it's knotty up the top. That is my routine in the van. Good morning, everyone. It is still raining and I just want to go pee, but I can't. Ready? And it's probably going to be raining tomorrow as well. So the four days we had in Byron have just been raining. And because we're like set up, can't even like really drive into town and we don't really want to spend money. So like we're not going to go out for lunch or anything. Like we're just cooking here. So I have to pee, so I have to brave the rain. All right, for breakfast, as Lily is editing and looks like she's having a wonderful time. Yay! Sorry. I am. I went surfing for two hours this morning. I said to Lily on this van trip that I want to cook different things. I want to spice it up. So, we're having oats, which isn't really spicing up, but there's a little secret sink on top. Yeah, I'm going to cook that now. Why she lays in, lays in bed and does nothing. Okay, I'm going to start and... Your hair's crazy. Wanna, yeah, look, I'm not even trying today. There's look lots going hair. on today. Look at okay, hair. look. Look, fix. <laughs> So, Egg is making our coffee this morning. We grinded up the coffee beans in our grinder and then we put it in this. And then I don't really know how it works from there. You might have to explain. It's like an espresso. So, there's water in the bottom of it. Heat, steam, pressure, rises. Espresso. And just like that. Slay. And then you get a frother. Stick her in there. And because our stove is weird and doesn't fit this on top, I just kind of put it to the side like that and it does its job. Boy. It's hot. Good, but it's hot. It almost burnt my tongue. What? What was it in? Oh my god. It was a huntsman spider in our chair covers. So okay, because they're harmless. Any Americans watching the freak now? <laughs> but one thing about camping in Australia, camping with the wildlife. Oh, do you want to tell them about how the van's leaking again? I'm sure they'd love to hear about that. It's not leaking. It is. Actually, that looks like it's getting a whole lot worse, doesn't it? Is it getting browner? <laughs> Basically around here, we think it's leaking. It's making a funny like color. So, and when it rains, it's wet. So it's probably leaking. Yay. You think you found what's wrong with it? Yes, there's a big crack in the ceiling for the maxi vent. Do you want to show them? I'm taking you on an adventure. Okay. So there's a little, little crack if it focuses. And all I'm going to do is get it my, some of my surfboard back because I have no ceiling at the minute and just shove it in and see if it does it and see if that helps. And if it doesn't leak tonight, then we know the issue. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So whilst Jack is out there putting the awning up, I can't help. So I'm just in here watching him struggle. We're going to eat my breakfast, which is a rice cracker. It's chocolate on top. <laughs> I didn't have time for my love life, to see my family. I'm working every single day. I'm depressed. I can't wait for a real breakfast in town. Hello. Boop, 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 boop. Okay guys, after much searching and not knowing what to do for tonight's stay because everything in the van is damp and wet, we found a cute little Airbnb in Springbrook which is where we were planning on staying anyway, just in a caravan park. The drive up here was crazy, it was so windy. It's got a cute little backyard. Wow, wow, wee wow. They have a map of Springbrook as like a wallpaper. And then this is the bedroom. Huge wardrobe that you could like fit another person in. This is the lounge 
room. It's the kitchen. It is so cute and we're just happy we have somewhere to stay tonight that is not wet. Picked somewhere that had a washer and dryer because we need to wash everything. So that will be the main goal for tonight. Okay, good morning everyone. After a good night's sleep in a dry bed, we woke up to put some washing on because that's the reason we booked this place. And the washing machine doesn't work. Fantastic. We don't really know what to do from here. We're kind of just like, do we wash it in the sink? But we are on our way to go see Chelsea Nat and little Sage. I'm so excited to see them. It's been ages since we saw Sage. So I'm sure she's gotten so much bigger. This is my OOTD. And this shirt, which is from Tree of Life. This skirt is from Blessing. Hello, hello, hello. Your hair. I know, I actually have yeah. hair now. Okay guys, we are back from hanging out with our bestie Sage, Nat and Chelsea. We had the best time with them like we always do. If you guys watched our Tasmania van trip, you would remember them. Sage has grown so much since and she's talking so much now. But we basically spent the rest of the day in Tom Marie, which is where we went and got coffee. And there's this huge like street, like long street of like different shops and like, cafes, food. There's so much on that strip. I don't even know how to start explaining it. We went into this one building and it looked like a castle from the outside and I was like, what could this be? It was a liquor store. If you are not 18, this is not for you. I bought musk liquor and she even let me taste it because it's such a big bottle. I was like, I don't really want to pay for it unless I'm going to like it. It tastes so sweet. It was really nice. Have you turned off that water? Sorry, I had laundry sink running because I had to fill it up because we have to wash our clothes in the sink Because the laundry isn't working as I told you earlier Jake got this five pack of different rums because Dev is joining us on this trip with my friend Alex Really likes rum and then we went into a plant store and of course I found something that I liked Are you are you are you kidding me? Strawberry pot. I love it so much. Look at this. It's a mushroom. I couldn't not get it. It's so cute. What else did I get? I got one thing. I got one more thing and it was a lip balm, which I know is like really boring, but I have a fixation with this lip balm. It's so cute. Cardboard packaging, so no plastic. And it smells like roses. It's that smells like roses. Oh my God, that was actually foul. It smells like fish. The woman was too stunned to speak. That was just one of the wet towels. If you could smell that towel. We had that towel in a plastic bag for two days because it was wet. Seriously smells like something died in it. And that's the two. I also got these rings. Three, four, twelve dollars. I really wanted some chunkier rings. I don't think these are real silver. silver. Just like, I, don't, I don't think these are real silver. Can you please? Can you please not? I don't think they're real silver, but they're just like pretty. But that was our successful day in Tomari. We are going to figure out what we're doing for the rest of the week because we have nowhere to stay. We have nothing booked. Our friends, Alex and Dez, they also have a van. They're meeting up with us for a week in Noosa when we get there. So you'll see them later on in this video. Please, such an not a morning person. I am wide awake. Hey. Hi. It's your boy's birthday. We have woken up at 5am to go get pictures on the beach when no one's there. We are in the Gold Coast now. We got here yesterday but I didn't film. So we got here and there's no sunrise. I'm gonna go back to sleep. Hello oh everyone. We are with the Jackson Jensen. Oh my god. <laughs> and uh, we are going to the gym. I'm going to film a mic'd up gym session with Jacko for TikTok. I'm thinking of starting a little series where I try different people's workouts. Um, and we're going to try Jackson's workout today. What are we What are we doing today? In the gym? I don't know yet. I have it on my phone. Okay. But you can't do good. upper body. Can't do what? Is it just this? I don't know. I've, I've torn my labral. Labia. No. Okay. <laughs> Posterior labral tear. Labral. Labral So you can't push with your arm. Yeah. I can't really do anything with it. I can't really like. I can do some things. I get just it hurts in random, random ass positions. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. We just finished our gym sesh. We got some GYG and a PMW. That, that's what El Ray calls them. PMWIs. I just learnt that. Just with no eye. Yeah. If any, literally better than Coca-Cola. I don't know. It was just cheaper, so I got it. It is. But you have to understand. It is just I don't tastes know. so much more better. I don't know. I don't, I, maybe I'll be convinced. Maybe I'm just right now not. But I used to be a massive Coke fiend. See, whenever it's hot, I'm like, oh, I want a Coke. Like, yeah. Like it's like a refreshing thing. Yeah. I am lapping up the aircon in Jackson's car because I'm about to go back to the van with no aircon, and it is so muggy here in Queensland. <laughs> 
And with that, see ya. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. We are heading up to Noosa. Now, I haven't really filmed much in the Gold Coast because we didn't do much. We kind of just sat at the beach, but I'm gonna film a lot more in the Gold Coast. You remember from where we left off in the last video, our oil was having some issues because we took the van to the mechanic before we came for a service to make sure it was all good. The mechanic accidentally put too much oil in the van, so now whenever we go over 100Ks, the van's like, beep oil issue i don't really know what it means i am just a girl basically what is the easiest option is to go to the mechanic and get them to like redo the oil completely but one we don't have time to wait around for a mechanic opening and two money so we have a makeshift i'm gonna put this into the oil tank Billy's talking as if she knows what she's doing i do kind of know what's going know what on i'm gonna put this little syringe that we got from the pharmacy Dude. and then we're gonna put the oil in here and dispose of it correctly now will this work we have no idea so let's go see <laughs> See, it comes off. It's coming off. Can't believe it's working. Oh my god, I can't believe this is working. Good job. Guys. Space and it's dry. Everything is dry and nothing is wet. I love van life. I really do. Okay. But not when it's like this. And it's not just the rain. Like we did rain in Tassie for two months. Okay, we did van life in the rain. But this is rain and hot like it is muggy and everything is wet and everything smells because everything's wet but hot at the same time so we booked a hotel room for the night <laughs> our friends alex and des are coming up tomorrow and we're spending a whole week in a caravan park with them in noosa we've made it to noosa but we had one night where we had no accommodation so my beautiful mother vicky that you will freaking love because she's an icon she is a gold member with hotels.com so what did she get she got us this whole apartment Whole apartment, not just a room, whole apartment. Guess how much it was? $14.50. $14.50 for this whole dang apartment. And you're probably like, Lily, how? Basically, every night stay that she has accumulated, I think it's like 10 night stay somewhere, you get a free night stay. And as a family, we use hotels.com, so Georgia and I's travel and my parents' travel accumulates and we get a free night stay. So the night stay was worth $200 and this room was $214, something, something along those lines. So we paid $14 for this whole room. And I'm a little bit excited because everything's this is our laundry bag. You know what I'm doing. If you could smile through the screen, you would have stopped watching right now. Like, it is so bad. We definitely need to make sure that this apartment had a washing machine. And it does. So, Jake has just gone to get us some dinner supplies from Aldi. Also, side note, I am now an Aldi shopper. Never thought I would be. I always thought they were like, oh, we have the lowest prices. They actually do. I'm obsessed with passion fruits, right? They're so expensive at the grocery store. On the side of the road, there was a passion fruit tree. So, I stocked up and I took like eight. I want to do a little experiment. Does a passion fruit from the vine taste different to the store one? So, already see the difference. This is the one off the tree and this is the one from the store one from the tree mm. it is so sweet it's dripping everywhere oh my god yum one from the store she's sour this is making me so annoyed that my passion fruit run at home still has not produced any fruit and it's been two years oh my god it's so good i'm so mad i should have got more from that vine the passion fruits had fallen off and some were like rotting into the ground like literally no one wanted them i was like i will have them all we have woken up and we got out of the hotel because we are going to the Umundi markets. Now, if you watched our van vlogs from the beginning, we went to the Umundi markets two years ago when we did our first trip in the van to Queensland and we loved it. So we're going again. bagels for Alex because she's coming today and she really likes bagels so we get her some brekkie tomorrow. So pretty. $290. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Would you like to introduce yourself? Oh, okay. Hey guys. <laughs> this is Alex. Half of Alex and Dez Co. I have a surprise for you oh that I got God. at the market today. Do you know what it is? No. <laughs> Do you have cream cheese? No, I thought you would supply. <laughs> you know I don't like cream cheese. I'll buy cream cheese and then we'll try them. I thought it was going to be like, I don't know, a Russian doll was my first. <laughs> Matt Inception. We both have rugs from Salty Aura, but different ones. They're so cute. Your one's nice. We have the boys sitting up with a beer and we have Guac. Yay! All right. This is our little setup. We have our little Matt. There's Desmond. Hello. Evan. Here's Alvin. It's a very good setup. Jake's been feeding the dogs all afternoon. Now they know that he has Come on, come on. 
If you put them on the mat, they might poo. Them. So we have woken up and there is a cane toad underneath the van and it is sitting on the wheel. So we have to somehow get it out because we don't want a flat cane toad in our wheel. Don't want to move. No. She's like, no, this is my house. There we go. And it's right there. He still has one foot on the wheel. He's like, I'm not going anywhere. We have come back from the beach. Yesterday at the markets, I bought freeze dried candy for a TikTok and I've tried it on TikTok, but I want you to try it. Sour worms, strawberries and cream, and oh my god! Oh my God, can I try the strawberries and cream? Yeah. Oh my God, I've always seen this TikTok of people making it. Guess how much each packet was though. Was it really expensive? $10 oh, a oh, packet. Really? Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. It smells really good. I don't know if you're going to be disappointed though. <sighs> you like it? Dang. The only thing is it kind of coats oh, your aftertaste. mouth. Yeah, mm -hmm. like it coats your mouth with sour worm, but no. <laughs> I really like that one. <laughs> really? Oh my god, it's so much more sour. Really? Mm. I didn't think it's that sour. You like I love sour. <laughs> <laughs> she spat it out! You like sour though. I hate the taste, but that's crazy. Don't go for a second. <laughs> We're gonna make Des try them. Des, mom. Oh, no. Try it. It's freeze dried candy. Just try it. Oh yeah, I always want to try it. Yeah. I don't like that that's one. A that's a strawberry cream one. one. <laughs> what? Oh, what is that? That's a super dry bar. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you chewing it like a chipmunk? Because I don't know what to do. I never had this sort of thing before. <laughs> what are we making tonight? On the menu, we have steak with a garlic butter, Ooh. green beans, and potatoes, and red wine. We're having a whole row situation. Where are the keys? Yeah, in? do. Mm. Jack does this all the time. He's like, where's the keys? I'm like, that is but not my. Literally your job. Literally <laughs> not my job. <laughs> not my swamp, not my problem. <laughs> is that the same? I don't think so. No, like, not my not my team, not my problem, or something. But not, my stuff, not my circus, not my monkeys. That's the <laughs> I have fully job. been saying, not my <laughs> swamp, not my problem. No, I've been saying that for weeks. Oh, we got matching bracelets today. Excuse me, one of the keys. I don't know, Bob. I don't drive the car. Where oh, do you put them? That's a weapon. It's that. That's a tripod, Rennie, you want to see? I thought it was that's like, we... so that if an intruder gets in, you can be like, problem. Oh, 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 did you just run over a duck? No, you didn't. It's right. Okay, move. Lily went to bed early last night. I went to bed early last night. I don't know why I was so tired. I literally went to bed at 8.30. I've never gone to bed that early. It was a big day for Lily. It was a big day for a little girl. <laughs> I've been saying that <laughs> and it's all too much for <laughs> But look at our campsite, it's so nice. That's the water and a child that is not mine, so I will blur its face. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Alec and Jess cooking show. More steaks and potatoes and Yay. green beans and sauce. Rosemary. Time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey guys. What do we say? Meow. <laughs> Take me through your thought process, Alex. So last night we opened a bottle of red wine. I was the only one drinking. And Des was like, "What are we gonna do with this red wine?" Then Jake was like, "Oh, you should make steak because Des made a steak for Jake last time they went camping." Des makes really good steak. And so we're making steaks now because Jake wanted it. The sunset is so nice here. We're staying on the river. Family dinner. <laughs> That is a good potato. High five. Right, oh, fuck. Yummy! Steak. You don't have to lie. If you don't like it, I can try it. No, go. Have you got red wine? Have a sip of red wine. I red wine. Sorry. <laughs> Hello! Hi! We're on a boat. <laughs> we decided to hire a boat for the afternoon, and it's such a good decision. So fun! So we were just walking back from the boat hire and we just realized one of the trees that we've been walking under basically every single day is infested with spiders and the camera can't even pick up on it that well. Look at all of them. 
that is insane. The camera isn't even doing it justice. Guys, we just got back to the campsite and the ducks, same two ducks from yesterday are back at like the same time. It's the next morning and Stanley has showed up without his wife. I think there's been a grave tragedy overnight. Stanley, where's your wife? I think they divorced yeah. over. Hi. <laughs> I haven't introed this bit because I'm a terrible vlogger, but we are at the Clark's family home slash warehouse. Slash warehouse. It's <laughs> very much a warehouse at the moment. You guys have probably already seen because this video is going up in the future, but the beautiful Clark family have started a small business <laughs> and um, it's a beautiful skincare business and I'm going to pronounce it. I might do it wrong. Kalaid. Oh my gosh. Did I do it right? <laughs> no. no. Oh, no, sorry. Wait. wait. <laughs> Kalade. So well, yeah. Kalade. Because Deja, the day. Yeah. Is That's why I thought it was Kalade. Kalade. Day. day. Yeah. Day. Okay. Letitia. <laughs> I Deja. saw the video where Letitia went around yeah. it. And then, and then I thought, I was like, I've got to remember it for when I go over. <laughs> and I, I butchered it. But I'm just going to get Kat to talk you guys through their oh new God. skincare bread. Because so I'm excited about it. And I'm getting a, a first look. And yeah. I feel very privileged. I feel like I'm in, on an info. Yeah. <laughs> this is when you order the OG collection. So you can obviously purchase everything individually. But um, you can also buy it as a pack. And if you do buy it as a pack, you get a free little headband that says Kalade on it. And my favorite thing, the air freshener. And it smells like Miss Dior. Such a slay. <laughs> That's going to be in my car. And people are going to be like, where did you get it? <laughs> get all these little stickers. So you got good vibes inside on the daily, you know, you know, which is for <laughs> our facial moisturizer. Cleansing like a CEO for our CEO That's so cleanser. Cute. In my hydration era for the body lotion. Watch me glow up for the glow up oil. And that's what she's said for Deja. I love that. Deja's <laughs> like, you can't forget about me. Show them your bottle. Deja's got all the stickers on her bottle. Slay. Slay. This is what you guys could do. Everything. And our house is an actual warehouse right now. <laughs> I respect the hustle. Thank you. It's amazing. <laughs> this is what my office looks like. Oh, really? Because I never throw any of the boxes out that I get for PR. Because I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to move out soon and I'll need the boxes. And then the interest rates go up and I'm like, I'm not moving out anytime soon. Oh. <laughs> but I will link Kalade down below. So if you guys want to go check it out get a pack Yay. i'm very excited to try their skin products thank you <laughs> hey everyone i am puffy as hell because it's 6 a.m we just woke up we're going home Because I actually have Taylor Swift tonight in Sydney. So we kind of had to cut the trip short by a couple days because I have to be home in Sydney, which Jake was not happy about. But it's Taylor Swift. I mean, what can you do? So this is where the video ends. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully we'll see you again with some new Van Life content. Bye. Bye.